All right, this video will be a quick demo on how to discharge at 30 amps without a resistor bank. And we're gonna do that by using the regenerative discharge feature of the iCharger and sending it back into the input source, which for me is a, it's an old boat battery. So we'll jump right into it. So I just got this thing, and I guess shout out to Alex Song for bringing this up because I had intended on making a resistor bank or needing to buy one, but this works out perfect. So first thing, we'll go into the system menu. So we'll do that by holding the wheel down and going up to input and power limit. So you've got four options here, and this is if you probably have a 4S, say, or a 6S, or a boat battery, or a power supply, you can set up different settings for it, which is pretty cool. So, just go into the one that I'm using right now. Oops. I hate this wheel. Okay, so... So, I think all this stuff's kind of default up top here. So, 9 volt, 45, blah, blah, blah. Big thing, regenerative, enable. So, I've got my voltage set up to 14.2 because I think that's what I've seen a car charge at. And I'm using a basically a car battery. So, I just set that up. I'm not going to do over 30 amps ever. For me personally, I think the charger will do up to 40. And then I've got a capacity limit ignore because I'm using a battery. So if you're using a, a LiPo as your input source, you probably want to put that in there as well as the voltage up there and just save and exit. The big thing is just to get the regenerative enabled. Okay, so we'll get out of here. All right, so from here, we're gonna go just to the regular screen. I'm gonna do a long, long press to edit the LiPo. So this is where we'll set up our defaults. So we'll go to discharge. So this is actually usually 20 because I usually do 20. So I'm just going to change that real quick. So you can set it up to whatever you want to be your default. These are your defaults, not your, your onlys, I guess you could say. But uh, the big thing is being to regenerative mode to input. So it's going to, of course, send the battery from your LiPo that you're discharging back into your input source, which again, in my case, is a boat battery. And we'll go, let's see. So advanced, I don't know exactly what these do. I mean, balance enable sounds good. Extra discharge enable, I guess, sounds good. So then we'll go to safety. I think safety is all this default stuff. All right. So since we've got it changed to input, that's that should be good. So I'm going to save. Now we'll just go to the normal charge screen. And we'll see that it says regen, so it can do regenerative. So here we'll do a long select. So there's the default, uh, but just for demonstration, we'll bring it up to 30 amps. And that's the max that I set allowable in the, the first setup. So. All right, so then we'll just go to start. Yes. So yeah, we're gonna run regenerative, of course. And we'll watch it do its magic. So there we go. We're off and running. No discharge bank, no nothing necessary. You have to have a power bank to do it this way, of course. So that could be a LiPo or, you know, in this case, a boat battery or car battery, what have you. Cannot be a power supply again, because that's not something that's going to be accepting of power being shot back to it. But I think this is a, a really economical way to, to quickly discharge stuff without buying a, a resistor bank that's going to create a bunch of heat and, I don't know, just don't like it. Anyway, 